Voices Community Trust works to benefit people of all ages and backgrounds by giving people more choice. We're based in Gorton, East Manchester, and our aim really is to provide positive projects that encourage new skills and create equal access to creative opportunities. In doing so, we really want to encourage connectedness in the community and we want to see individuals inspired and empowered to fulfil their potential. Sing Jam is a project aimed at primary school children um, and it offers free workshops in song and dance. It started in 2012 as a pilot project, a summer holiday club, and it was incredibly successful. By 2014, we'd actually had 60 participants that had benefited from the project. And in 2014, we were really fortunate to get funding from Health Form and the People's Health Trust, which has enabled us to increase the numbers of children and families who can benefit from the project which is meant we can deliver it consistently, week on week, as after school clubs for the local community at two school locations. And also foster increased connectivity really and connectedness between the neighbourhoods in the area. Sing Jam has helped families find a safe space for their children to access after school. Um, the fact that it's after school means that parents don't have to worry about transport, it's accessible, um, it's in a, a place with people that they trust, um, familiar adults, and they've been able to build up relationships over the time that the children have been attending the course. It's brilliant. The, the amount of confidence that he's got from Sing Jam is amazing. I never ever, he would never have done that a couple of years ago. Never got in front of people, never sang or harvested and done dancing, so it's worked wonders. Which I think has had a knock on effect in school as well, though, because he was in obviously school productions as well, so it's been really, really good. Nice to see. The best thing about working with the children is. Um, seeing them go from a place of maybe being unsure or not thinking that they can do a move or sing a bit of a song and then watching them perform knowing that they can do it. We've really tried our best to get the kids as involved in creating the pieces themselves. We've got them to come up with their own moves but also it's been really exciting with the singing. They've um, made their own song up, um, their Sing Jam song and uh, so they've written the words for that and came up with the tune as well so that's been brilliant. My favourite thing about Sing Jam is watching the children perform and actually not only watching the children perform but watching the faces of the parents and the families watching the children perform. Of course at the start the children are a bit nervous but excited and as they get into the swing of it they inevitably produce a fantastic performance and by the end of it their faces are glowing with a sense of achievement and even more so the parents and the families' faces are glowing with such a sense of pride it's really wonderful. My favourite bit about Sing Jam is it's, it's with interacting with other people and singing and dancing because they don't stop Undoubtedly, it's increased their self-confidence and self-esteem. Um, just coming today and watching the performance and seeing how they work together happily. I feel so privileged to have been part of this project and I really want to take this opportunity to thank all of the volunteers, uh, the team members, the staff that have given their time and their expertise to make it such a fantastic project. I also really want to thank the schools for their involvement in encouraging the project, in encouraging us to make sure that as many families benefit as possible and also by providing us with a really great environment to run the clubs from. I also of course want to really thank the children and families themselves for being involved, for participating, for getting stuck into the design and the development of the project with us. But most of all, of course, if it weren't for the funders, none of this would have happened. So I particularly want to thank both those who've seed funded the project in its earlier days, in 2012 to 2014, 
and of course substantially with their funding from 2014 onwards, the People's Health Trust and Health Form.